Here I'm demonstrating a really simple Arduino project um, using a DS18B20 waterproof probe and a micro servo. Uh, over here I got a really cold water, ice water, and there, I don't know if you see it, but that's steaming hot water. And um, nice fish tank, everything's alright. If you look at the bar in the back, um, if I stick this in the cold water, the indicator in the back starts going to the left. Of course I would mark the, uh, the glass and it's very very shaky because I don't have it uh, doing any comparisons. It's pretty instant. Now if I stick it in the boiling water, this is the, the temperature sensor. It's a digital sensor so it has, uh, it requires no calibration and it's all one wire function. If I stick it in the steaming water, you'll see it's pretty quick to react and it's uh, it's in a danger zone there. I don't, I don't know if you see the pen, but it's way off of the scale on the fish tank. Let me cool it down a little before I stick it in the fish tank. And uh, you see right there in the back, it's a really, really simple project. And it's just for fun. While I was testing a sensor, I said, why not? And there you'll see the probe. It goes in. And uh, it's in the halfway mark, which is very good for the fish. Uh, I don't know exactly the number, I forgot off the top of my head, but it's a real simple project that's fun to do, only requires um, two digital pins, one for the servo and one for the uh, digital thermometer. You can use an analog one also, make sure it's waterproof and sealed. This one is designed to go underwater, but we put it in the cold and our temperature gauge goes down. I haven't marked the glass yet. We put it in boiling and you can see it goes right off the scale. But it's really just for this. If it gets too cold, we'll see it in the glass and we can put a light indicator. You can have it turn the light on, you can have the light turn off, uh, the irrigation system, the watering, all that stuff. It's um, the Arduino is a very fun microprocessor.